And so now I want to, um, I'm going to bring up a few pictures of some of the, the animals that you've produced that where you've incorporated um, some of your line bred um, genes. So the first one I'm going to bring up is a snake that you posted in 2019. Yeah. Yeah. And you had it labeled as a lemon ghost um, purple extreme condo. So kind of um, talk about this animal. Well, I had some purple extreme red condas um, that were really pretty. Bred that into a lemon ghost. Um, held those lemon ghost kind of extreme red outcrosses back and actually bred it back to a high percent lemon ghost that had a small percent, like 25% extreme purple red. But this is the one that showed pretty good um, characteristics of extreme purple red. And this is a pretty cool example because um, it's actually pretty high percentage lemon ghost, um, but lower um percentage extreme purple red and so that's the thing these things are kind of hard to define because obviously an outcross extreme purple red isn't as good as a really good quality um really lime red one but i think with the lemon ghost characteristics it actually actually kind of uh goes with it and makes it pop because the lemon ghost is you know causing the colors to be brighter um it's also you know making it uh giving it better contrast and everything because if you imagine look at that the reddish saddles um and imagine the background's like a dark brown it wouldn't pop as much so it wouldn't have been really considered that high quality of an extreme purple red but because the lemon ghost there with the contrast actually makes it look like a, a way better one so that's the thing um my friend urged me to post it because i guess somebody else had, po uh, had posted some and they said that they had these and uh, he's like, well, I was like, well, I don't really want to. And he's like, yeah, but this guy's saying he has the project. He's the only one. I'm like, well, if he wants to, that's fine. He goes, can you just please post it? So I was like, okay. And I posted it. Um, but you go, cause I have a few of them. But the thing is like, you know, these projects are far from done. Um, again, they're like, I think they're really in their infancy. You can do so much more with them. I think lemon goats can be lime bred to the point where you get um, really consistent neon yellow hog nose. And they're not quite there yet. And that's the cool thing about lion breeding, because, again, you see what they've done with koi carp over hundreds of years. Uh, I think the hog nose um, market, as long as people, or the, with the hog nose hobby, I should say, within the hog nose hobby, somebody that wants to carry on and lion breed this stuff, I think in 100 years you're going to see some really crazy-looking hog nose snakes, especially if people keep on selectively lion breeding. Um, but, again, right now, even if a lot of people that get into the selectively lion breeding these traits I don't, they don't really seem to have a, I don't know, the, the, the same kind of, um, the same kind of like goal. They end up start crossing them immediately into all these other traits and it starts to diminish it. Now they can start, they can actually line breed it back and that is very possible. Um, not only is it possible, it's, it would really, it would work if you do it. It's going to work, but it's just, uh, it's a long detour that you're getting away from the main project to incorporate this new gene. You got to come back and bring it back in and you know, it'll be good results, um, especially down the road. But I think with a lot of these projects, you know, there's going to be, there's major improvements that can be made in the next 10, 20 years. Okay. And so now I'm going to bring up another picture and this is more of a recent uh, snake that you've posted. And this is your, um, your lemon ghost sable. I think you said you mentioned that it's fifty percent lemon ghost. Yeah, yeah, that's fifty percent. But the one thing I'll point out, I don't like, but it's a better quality than most fifty percenters than really anybody else can really make. Um, because this is from like my best neon lemon ghost that I did not outcross that stayed pretty much within the project for the last like fifteen some plus years. And then that crossed because we actually when I took my best those those lemon ghosts and bred them to just a straight normal sable, a lot of those because all the babies came out lemon ghosts because it's such at that point it's so powerful. It, like you'd have the same results if you took a red. Like say if you took a raging red and you line bred it for the next ten years and you say line bred it and I'll cross it one time into like a phoenix red or an extreme red. You kept line breeding it. And you had these ones that are just super bright, deep blood red saturated. It's just not going to go away with one outcrossing. It's not actually not going to go away at all. If you outcross it to say just like a nice normal hog nose um, that has some like you know high contrast, nice brownish saddles, all the babies are going to be red. Now they're not going to look as good as the original 
uh, ones, but all the parents to these, to all the Lemon Ghost 50 percenters that Sable I made looked almost like, they looked like low quality 100% Lemon Ghost because they were just so strong. But the funny thing is, they actually look better than most of their offspring, the parents. And so I bred the parents together that were both 50% Lemon Ghost, high quality Lemon Ghost, uh, 100% at Sables. A lot of the baby Lemon Ghost that are 66% pass at Sable, they look good. They look good, um, but they they look like fifty percent lemon ghost to me. I'm like, oh, these are nice, but they're not real strong yellows. They're kind of like lighter colored, or more of like kind of like a light, you know, uh, buttery yellow, which is more greenish. They're more greenish, and uh, but I did get a couple high quality ones. That male's a decent example. I have way better looking ones. I just didn't post them, and um, so. But again, I actually hopefully. By the end of this year, I'll hatch out some 75% Lemon Ghost Sables. And I was able to do that through making the Lemon Ghost, or, um, 50% Lemon Ghost Pet Sables, bringing those to, again, one of my best. Actually, she's one of my nicest. She's, like, just screaming neon yellow, 100% Lemon Ghost. And those 75%ers look really good. And they're pass hat, and I bred some of those together. And it's funny, even with the 75%ers, you'll have varying degrees. I have one that's, like, really pretty extremely high expression lemon ghost looks like a hundred percenter and then her sister next to her is more looks like a 50 percenter it's like greenish yellow and everything but that's what happens when you do the outcrosses even though these are 75 percenters and they're bred back to my best ones um you get some varying degree and that's because lemon ghost isn't quite as strong as things like red um because if you did this with say like an extreme purple red you wouldn't see actually sometimes you can get some pretty brownish ones but i guess because like you know red and brown and those like deep reddish mahogany brownish colors um they're you, you don't see as much as a difference because it's like okay these are kind of like a, a similar color schemes while with lemon ghost there's like kind of like a lot of melanin removed and so there's not a lot of these like dark pigments like kind of like uh shadowing them so when i have like this really high quality 75 percent lemon ghost pasta sable next to her sister they're a bit lighter colored um, you know, under background. So the one sister is kind of like more of like a greenish yellow. And then, then I have a third one too. That's, uh, and she's got this really weird, like mustardy kind of like yellow. <laughs> so, so you get all these like different, uh, um, variations and they can, they're definitely all pretty strong lemon ghosts where it's like, okay, that's definitely a lemon ghost, but you would actually be surprised. Um, if I was to say, Hey, these are all sisters and that's because of the outcross. And that's what I mean by outcrossing. Um, you'll, you start to lose some of these qualities pretty pretty quickly, and that's the and the reason be, behind that is not all polygenetic line bred traits are equal. Some are stronger than others, and that's why I talk about abandoning some because they're just not strong enough to continue. I see it with the leopard geckos. And there's one particular trait I'm not going to name it. It's a cool project. People have been working on it for. It's like one of the most chased after projects. <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows what I'm talking about, but they've been going hard at this thing for 15 years, and it's one in my opinion. It's two different colors that really clash and they kind of combat each other and they kind of cancel each other out. And so they get results that look pretty decent because they're juveniles, they're kind of bright. But then by the time they're adults, the characteristics and those qualities that they're trying to um, extract out just don't really come to fruition. And it's a very small percentage that look like the ones they want. want. And it's, it's fighting against the current as hard as you can and has been going on for 15 years and in my opinion the results are still pretty similar to when they originally started and that, yeah that would have been an example of a project that i would have been like that's cool i'm going to cross it into this to make this pretty and that's it i'm going to work on something else <laughs> all right and so i'm gonna bring up um one last picture um this is actually a, a snake that you posted yesterday on your instagram okay and yeah was, let's talk about her yeah, so the Sable Lemon Ghost Walmart, that's what you have it listed as. Yep. Yeah, do you want to see her right now? She actually shed. <laughs> okay, yeah, a, if you can bring her out. I was an idiot and posted that yesterday, and I knew she was in shed, but I was like, yeah, she looks so cool and she's posing, and I, I just want to post a photo. Uh, but she shed this morning, so let me go get her. It won't take me long. <laughs> All right. All right so. There she is. Yeah, she's pretty. The coolest thing, one of the cool things about her is probably not showing up, but her belly is really crazy looking. The iridescence on it, and there's like a lot of yellows and greens. Her belly is actually very green. 
It looks probably more yellow on camera. And so what percent of Lemon Ghost would you say she is? Uh, I would consider her a 50 percenter, but she's actually from like my best, like Roma Lemon Ghost lineage, like 100 percenters that were outcrossed. And she was just the one that's a really high expression, um, you know, with a lower percentage. Uh, one of her brothers is really insane, too. And then there's like one of her sisters is just like pretty nice. And then there's a few others in there that are like, OK, but actually most of them in this uh, project came out actually pretty amazing. So okay. that's nice. Yeah, I had no idea that the, the picture that you posted was her and Shed. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a big difference. Yes. Yeah, there's actually now, if you look at her, she's actually more greenish. Um, she's definitely a little lighter, that's for sure. But you actually have, yeah, there's a lot more um, yellow tones in her and stuff. But yeah, she's a really high expression. Um, actually, if you were to remove the sable, and just she looked that way. She would be considered like a high quality, like Woma, Lemon Ghost. And she would probably be on par with someone 100 percenters. Um, but just because she'd be on par doesn't mean that she actually has that same value, really. Um, they they kind of do, um, like almost. I mean, obviously, that's like a really good one. And it does have the lineage. But a pure one is going to be a lot stronger, especially for outcrosses. Um, and then, you know, or even breeding back into ones like this because that's what's really cool about this project is like it's an outcross but you're outcrossing with a really good goal you know and the goal is to get that you know polygenetic trait with a recessive trait 